Hey, what's up guys? I've got a cool unboxing here for you. This is the, as you can see, obviously, this is the complete series of uh, Fringe, which was on um, Fox, I think. It was on Fox, yeah. As you can see, you can see it's very reflective because it's got the um, shrink wrap still on it. But it has all five seasons. Two, three, four, five. As you can see there in the corners there. I actually used to own this show. The first, I had the first four seasons and then I never owned the fifth one. Um, you look at the cast quick, and maybe is this a quick synopsis? I don't know if I can zoom in on that. You can just pause that and read that, I guess. But it's it's a really kind of a it's not I, I, I want to call it like a knockoff of X Files, but that's not quite accurate. It's got a science fiction bent, and that's really the the main thing. I think it's is she FBI agent or was she CIA? I think she was an FBI agent, yeah, special agent. Uh, Olivia Dunham. Uh, eccentric fringe scientist Walter Bishop and his jack of all trades son Peter to investigate uh, paranormal incidences, incident, incidents that defy human logic and mystifying events that threaten our very existence on a universal scale. When the unimaginable happens, it's their job to stop it. So there's all five of the. Well, I guess I'll show you in a second. Oh, let me get this shrink wrap off. It's very reflective and it's annoying me now. this way. Like I said, just briefly, I, I did own the first four seasons on Blu-ray at one point, several years ago now. I have seen almost all of this show. I never actually finished it for some stupid reason. I have never finished this show. And it is, uh, it's a little banged up because this show is, this, what the hell is this? It's a piece. Um, I think it's 2013. Yeah, 2013 is when this the final season end, uh, aired and ended. So from 2008, I think, to 2013, five seasons. Um, I really enjoyed it when I watched it, but for whatever fucking reason, I never finished it. I watched half of the final season, and I just didn't. I, I don't know. I, I have no excuse for why I didn't. Other things came on, and I watched those instead. So here are all five seasons in there. Um, covers, I guess. I'll show you in a second here, but this is the, the, the case itself, the, the packaging for the complete series. And I remember thinking when it first came out that it's very plain. It's just fringe, and it's got a couple little, um, like, like fireflies. I don't even know what the hell. Like the science stuff. What would you even call them? Just little dots. I don't know. But I remember thinking this was really plain and dumb. Um, but it, and, it, and it houses the exact same things, too. Like, it's actually the first... Okay, that's the only difference. Um, these are all five seasons. Oh, and I had all of these. And I had this one too, but the original release had a lenticular uh, placard or whatever on front. That's fine though. This is this is uh, okay too. It was it did change colors or whatever it did before. Um, otherwise, this is exactly the same. I think these all look. Yeah, these all look the same. So yeah, this is the first season. Uh, Friends season one. That is Walter Bishop, Olivia Dunham, and Peter Bishop. And if I'm being honest, the um, Josh Jackson is an actor who I I wouldn't say I dislike him. I think that he's a fine actor, but I think he he acts very similar in all the things he's been in. So I thought he was very he was he was the weakest link on the on the three characters. I thought Anna Torb was fantastic as Olivia Dunham. Walter Bishop, um, uh, what's his name? The hell, John Noble, and I knew it was Noble. Uh, John Noble is brilliant as Walter Bishop; he's fantastic. Um, but and uh, Josh Jackson as Peter Bishop, his son, um, I thought was just okay. He did; he he was, he was adequate for the job. I thought he could have been better. But that's just me. I haven't seen the show in a while now too, so I guess that shouldn't be too critical. Here's the first disc. Disc one, two, three. Four and five, so there were five discs. I thought there were only four, but I guess it's five. And it comes with a booklet. Back when they still did booklets, there's a cast list of uh, all the characters in the first season and the actors and their names, which is very cool. Mark Valley. I'm pretty sure him and Anna Torb got married after this show, and they were only married for like a year or something, and then they broke up. Um, he's Australian, I believe. I don't think he is. Um, here is an episode guide. Yep. 
September 9th, 2008 was the first airing. Of course, you can't see it because it's not focusing. It still isn't. There we go. Yeah, it was a very cool show. Like I said, very reminiscent of X-Files. And that's mainly because it's supernatural, paranormal stuff, and it's FBI agents. So, well, just one FBI agent. Well, I guess technically more than one, but, you know. Um, I'm pretty sure the show is still on Netflix. I think it is. In the U.S. anyway. Um, I had watched more episodes on there, but I haven't recently. And I haven't checked recently. So I guess I don't know for sure. Uh, here is season two. It's a very shiny case. There's more special features and stuff. You can pause that if you want to take a look at it. That was 22 episodes. How many episodes was the first season? I wasn't counting. I didn't check. I'm assuming more than 22. I have maybe 24. So now I'm curious. Sorry, guys. I literally just clicked through this and I didn't look. Only 20. How come it's... No, no, no. Why are there five discs? It seems unnecessary. Anyway. Or what's that? Let's take a look at this. I like that they got the different color changes there, too. This is a different case. And that's a disc that fell out. Um... There's disc one, disc two, disc three, and disc four. This is a different case than when I owned it before. This is a cheaper case. Just kind of lame, as you can see. But it's fine. Here's the booklet. I thought it was a cool show. I was pretty, I don't know if it was critically acclaimed. I don't know, like, God, I don't remember. How, how it did. It got five full seasons and it got to finish. Um, it was a, the, the last season was a truncated season. I think it only had 12 or 13 episodes, but um, like I said, I haven't finished it, so I don't know. I probably shouldn't be mentioning it. I, I couldn't speak to it really, the quality. I only watched a couple episodes. But I enjoyed what I saw, and like I said, I still I couldn't give you a good reason why I never finished it. Just because. Here's season three. And that's the characters looking at it, and there's a big blip in the background. He's always on some drink. He's eccentric, and that's just shows you that he is. And I have to say, the first, definitely in the first season, it was much more in the same vein as those X Files episodes. There were like monsters of the week, and there was a huge, there was a mythology going on there, but it wasn't really um, developed until the very end, and then into second season, and then definitely in the third season is when they really ramped up the, um, the mythology of the series. Just talked about other dimensions and shit, which I don't know if I want to say spoilers because it's, it's it's a huge part of the sh of the show itself. But there's other dimensions out there in this world. Oops, this fell out too. Uh, this looks okay. Oh, and I actually I didn't mention yet that I, I got this from Amazon. Um, I don't know if it was a deal of the day. It might have been. It was forty nine ninety nine, and I um. I honestly hemmed and hawed over it for about an hour or so, thinking about it. Like, do I really want to spend 50 bucks? It's 10 bucks a season, and I do not own them anymore. I, like I said, I did own the first four seasons several years ago, and then I sold them. I, have, I guess I don't even know when. But um, I thought it definitely warranted picking it up for 50 bucks. I, I actually, just like a month or so ago, I was talking to a friend about the show and how, like, if you liked X-Files... You'll probably like this show. Um, it's not exactly the same, obviously, but it's got a very similar vein. This is created by J.J. Abrams and, um, um, uh, what's the other guy's name? Carlton Cuse, I think. The cast again. The characters. That's, of course, the main cast. Um, what was I saying? I was saying that the show... I, I was recommending it to a friend, and I, I actually started thinking about it again. And then it was just weird. Like, a month later, the it was on sale. I thought that was pretty cool. There's season four. I really liked this image for whatever reason. It doesn't make a cool poster. It's the three of them. It's got some weird design in the front, but... Um, it's the 
best science fiction on television right now. Blu-ray exclusive. And this was actually at the forefront of when Blu-ray... Actually, you know what? It's, it's funny thinking about it now. I remember when I first bought the very first season of this show on Blu-ray. It was around 2008, which was about the time I actually bought a Blu-ray player. I think I bought my PS3. And watching this show and seeing the difference in quality... Should I just touch that? Uh, the difference in quality from DVD to Blu-ray was awesome because I had been I had just started collecting DVDs in the mid 2000s and I well collecting is probably a hard that's a strong, too strong of a word I wasn't really collecting them I was buying TV shows I liked and other things I liked but I wasn't hardcore collecting anything I just happened to be picking up some I probably had 20 or so Blu-rays I mean DVDs and TV shows and then once I started buy, buying Blu-rays and had a Blu-ray player and so the difference. It was really cool to see the difference um, from uh, standard def to HD. It was just a cool thing to see. Um, I'm not even talking about this shit. Sorry, I'm just kind of plat talking about nothing and then showing you the insides. And now we're at pamphlets. I don't know if I showed pamphlets last time. I like the booklets better, but pamphlets are usually what happens. Um, yeah, this show gets really fucking crazy, I think, around this season. And specifically, season five, there was a huge, huge change in the show and I don't know if that was I think that was all planned too I don't know I don't know if they were forced out at Fox like I said I think the ratings were mostly good but it was kind of an expensive show which you can imagine right it's the same I assume yeah and this is three discs Two, three. very cool and I love the uh, the observers very interesting. The September and August, I think, are the ones that I remember the names of, anyway. They had names after months. And they were like an alien race or something. I forget even what they fucking were. You see, it's been a long time. It was a really cool concept. 13 episodes. I think I got to... I have to read some of these. Well, I probably don't want to. I don't know. It's been long enough now where I don't remember a whole lot about it, so I don't want to spoil myself why I've actually forgotten stuff. And then in the back here of the pamphlet is a um, uh, little note to the fans from the producer. Very cool. Like I said, I'm fairly certain that they actually got to finish this the way they wanted it to. Maybe not quite um, as much. Like they said, this is only 13 episodes. But they, um, from what I've read, this show ended pretty... Pretty much the way they would like to end it. They ended well, as opposed to other shows that got canceled or got truncated. I could just put them on my shelf like this, I guess. Honestly, it's kind of actually. I remember. It's kind of weird that it has the cases. You just put the cases inside the bigger case. It's kind of weird, isn't it? I can't get this in there. Let's do that first. And then let's get these two in. There. How boring this is. And as you can see, there are dings and dents on this. Like I said, this is this is five years old, this set. I don't know how I mean I don't know if they've been producing them since. Um, but it's it's been sitting on a shelf somewhere for a while. It's kind of worn out there too. Look at that. I'm gonna have to take a marker to that maybe. Probably don't have to, I can just put it in put it on the shelf, but it's fine. But anyway, I'm blabbing on forever. That is Fringe the Complete Series. Um, I think it's really good. If you haven't seen it, I, if it's, I think it's still on Netflix. Give it a watch. The first season definitely is in the more on the vein of a Monster of the Week type of show. Um, and I think that carries into the second season too. Well, I, it probably carries into the majority of the show because they just have to fill time. You know, it's so many episodes. But the uh, mythology is very cool. Um, talking about... And actually, uh, I, I don't know if it's a spoiler or not, but Leonard Nimoy is in this show, too. He's not huge in it, but he's in it a little bit, and he's a very cool character. Um, um, I don't know what else I want to say about that, but he's really cool, obviously. So, I recommend giving it a shot. If, I don't know if this is still on sale for 50 bucks. If you could get this for $50, I would recommend it. I think that's a good deal. Um, but I think it was a deal today. I'm not certain. I haven't checked since. I ordered it um, uh, um, on Wednesday, I think. What day is today? Today's, today's Thursday the 6th that I'm recording this anyway. Um, 
But anyway, yeah, I, I got a, a day. Actually, did I order it yesterday? Really? Yeah, I think I did. That's right. Because I had an option to get one day delivery and it was not, it was free. So I thought, sure, let's do that. But yeah, anyway, who cares, right? Thank you for watching, guys. I recommend the show. Give it a shot or don't. If you like X-Files, I think you'll like it. Um, that's all. Complete series of Fringe. Fantastic show, I thought. Although I haven't finished it, so I guess I shouldn't talk too much. But that's it, guys. I'm babbling now, so I'm going to go. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.